So the question now is, well, what about sodium hydrogen carbonate? What do we do with that? Well, let's take a look at it. Here's the salt, sodium hydrogen carbonate. We'll write it as a solid salt at this point, but normally you would get it as a solution with this salt already dissolved. But if I was to put this salt into water, again, our question is, what part of the original compound may potentially react with water and affect pH? Well, let's first get rid of those substances which won't dissolve. If I look at this as an ionic compound, I end up with an ion here of sodium. Now being an alkali metal, that will simply ionize off this compound and float around in water, just like you'd get in the ocean. And I'm then left with hydrogen carbonate. So let's draw that. I end up with sodium ions, aqueous, which I can now forget about because they don't further react with water. And I'm left with hydrogen carbonate, which is a polyatomic ion in solution. Now this is potentially more problematic because when you look at that, you're tempted to think that this hydrogen may in fact ionize and donate a proton and form the molecule hydronium, therefore lowering pH, and we could say it's an acidic salt. But what we know, if we tested this solution with a pH probe, we'd actually find the opposite is true. This compound is going to react further with water because this is the conjugate base of a weak acid. And the conjugate base of the weak acid means that it's going to act further as a base. It's going to accept a hydrogen from water rather than forcing water to take its hydrogen. And that's just an illustration of how weak carbonic acid is. So let's follow the story of this one a bit further. Hydrogen carbonate in solution, when I add it to the water molecule, is going to form a scenario where the water molecule actually now forces hydrogen carbonate to act as a base. It accepts it. So now I have H2CO3 in solution and I've left behind hydroxide in solution. Therefore, because of the presence of OH, pH climbs and we say it's a basic salt. Now just be careful, examine this for a moment. Lots of students will see the acid molecule here and say, no, 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 that's an acidic solution. It's not. The carbonate, the conjugate base of the weak acid, carbonic acid, has been forced to take back one hydrogen and two hydrogens, meaning that those hydrogens could only have come from the water molecule and leave behind OH. So the fact that these hydrogens are now bound up in hydrogen carbonate means that they are not free in solution to form something like a hydronium ion. They're bound to the carbonate, leaving behind OH, and so the pH rises. And this is a strongly basic salt, sodium hydrogen carbonate, precisely because the sodium is able to leave, the hydrogen can't, and the water gives another hydrogen to this conjugate base of a weak acid. So that explains why sodium hydrogen carbonate is a basic salt.